Shalom, Israel, Most High in Christ, bless. I'm Officer Michael with Israel United in Christ, and we're here to teach our people, you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, your true nationality according to the Bible. That's right. Uh, give me Isaiah chapter one. Sister, come forward. Sis, what you say your name was again? I'm sorry? Butter. Butter, Sister Butter. I want to show you something according to the scriptures. Look at this sign right here. Where I'll sign it. Look at this sign right here, sister. Look at this sign. Tell me where you see yourself in the sign. This side is what the Lord calls us in the Bible. On that side is what the world calls us. So tell me what tribe you associate yourself with according to your father on this sign right here. We're gonna, and we're gonna show you why it's, what is your father? We're gonna show you why, it's, why that's important. Jamaican. Your father's Jamaican? Okay, so you'll be from the tribe of Benjamin. Right. A mighty tribe. So let's get that first. Isaiah 1 and 3. We're gonna get that for then we're gonna jump to numbers. You gotta, the, the reason that's very important, sister, is you gotta understand who this Bible applies to. Because you said earlier, I heard you say earlier, you made a comment. We said, the, the officer told you that you're not gonna hear this anywhere else. And you said, that's what everybody says. But has any church on this block from Church Street, from Tidewater Drive to Virginia Beach Boulevard told you your true nationality according to the Bible? Have they told you this Bible is only for one nation of people that God chose? I'm pretty sure they have. Because if you would've knew that, you probably wouldn't be out here today. We're gonna to show you today, all right, sis? Yeah. All right, listen to this. The book of Isaiah, chapter one and verse one. Bring it up. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Josiah, jo jo Jotam, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Verse three, the ox know of his owner, and the ass his master's crib. And you know what he says, these are animals. These animals are too smart. But the Lord said, look, even these animals know their home. They know who their master is. Read. But Israel do not not know. My people do not, not consider. consider. So the Lord said, his people don't know who they are, nor do they consider who they are. So earlier, I was asking you who you see yourself as on this, on this sign right here. We're going to show you why your nationality and your tribe is according to your father. Give me Noah chapter 15. So your father's from the tribe, your father's from the tribe of Benjamin. So you says I'm from the tribe of Benjamin. Why? Because you are a seed of your father. We're gonna show you that, all right? Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Book of Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Bring it up. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. One, one, I'm sorry. My apologies, yes, chapter, chapter one, yes, sir. Gotcha. The book of Numbers chapter one and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. So now this is going to the nations, the nation of Israel, all the tribes are assembling their people together. They're gonna to show you how they're assembling them together. I'm gonna go on. There. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. Since you understand what well, you know what a pedigree is? Yeah. What's a pedigree? Yeah. What do you say, brother? Come here, come close. You said what? It's your what? It's who you are. It's who you are, exactly. So let's read that again from the top. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. You see what, I, see what the Bible's telling you, sis? So that's why I asked you earlier, what is your father? You said you were mixed with different things. Yeah. But that's why I asked you, what's important is everybody was learning about their families according to their fathers. The seed comes from the father. You understand that? I got my skin complexion from my granny though. So that's oh, that was, I feel that, like I'm mixed with a lot of stuff. No, that doesn't it's matter. According to the Bible, what's important is what your father is. Right. right. That's what's important, what your father is. Your father determines your lineage and who you are. So you you know uh, the singer uh, Faith Evans, right? Mm -hmm. She's the same complexion as you, right? But guess what her father is? Her father's an Edomite, a so-called white man. You didn't know that, did you? So your skin complexion, your your skin complexion, your eye color, your hair texture, that doesn't matter, sis. That's right. What matters is the seed of your father. That's right. There's a lot of people that look like you, but it's not of your people. There's a lot of people that don't look like you that are your people. Right. Your who you are is based off your bloodline. That's where your lineage comes from. That's why it's very important that we know who we are and where we come from. Okay. So now God is calling his people to do one thing. You know what that is? Night. To all uh, pray. Let's get that for you. Zephaniah 2 and 1. That's one thing right there. And today is one of those days we're going to unite. We're going to go over that with you, all right? Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. 
That's one of our things. One of our, one of the things that our people don't do. We're not united. But sometimes we come together, but not under the same mindset. You heard of the Million Man March before, right? Mm -hmm. Every year, or not every year, but throughout the years, we've had the Million Man March. Brothers come from all over the place to march together. But what has come of that? Our neighborhoods have gotten worse. Crime has went up. Single parent household. Diseases in our neighborhood has went up. Right. From sexually transmitted diseases, because the households aren't in order, because the men are sleeping with women and not taking care of them, or not marrying them like they're supposed to. The women are disrespecting the men, don't want to get married. We came across a lot of sisters they don't want to get married. And they have a good man that wants to marry them because our minds have been destroyed by Babylon. That's why we have to gather ourselves together, but under one mindset. Right. Let's get this for Right. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Sis, you saw the, I showed you the sign earlier, right? This nation right here, the nation of Israel, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we aren't desired anywhere on this planet. No one on this planet can you see what these people are desired. We're envied by people, but that envy comes with hatred. We're not desired by anybody. People want to associate themselves with our struggle, but they don't want to go through the struggle. That's right. That's right. Peace. That's people right. want to get the kingdom of heaven, but they don't want to associate themselves with the struggle and go through the things they have to do to get the kingdom of heaven. Right. But God has one chosen people. And those people have to gather themselves together right. under God's laws, right. under one mindset. That's where the Million Man March failed at. You can't tell me something, sister. You had a business, right? And you worked at, let's say you had a nail salon, you had a number of other things in there. If somebody in there was a thief, could you have a business together with that thief? Hell no. You couldn't have a business with them. You both have to, be, have, to have that business mindset to make money together. Right. Same thing with the nation of Israel. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we have to be under one mindset to keep God's laws. Right. Keeping the Sabbath day holy. We're going to show you that. Just uh, go ahead and jump to Exodus chapter 20. We're going to go to verse 8. That's one thing we can start with right now. Hold each other accountable. But they say Sabbath is on Sunday, but it's really Saturday. No, Saturday is really on Saturday. All prayers for the Most High. But they say it's Sunday, but I heard it's not Sunday. It's not Sunday. According to the Bible, you got, you got your phone on you? Somebody pull up a calendar for a circle. You pull up a calendar for an officer. And I want you to look at this calendar and you tell me the first day of the week and the last day of the week. Well, I'm going to ask you this first. What's the Sabbath day? It's supposed to be the seventh day, right? No, to the Bible. they say it's supposed to be Saturday. All right, let's get out of the Bible. It is supposed to be Saturday. But they lied to you and told you it was Sunday. You were taught that in slavery. That was beaten into you. There were laws and things set in place to keep you from proclaiming who you are and what you're supposed to be doing right. under God's law. That's Let's it. get Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Listen, listen as you watch this, sis. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Stop right there. It said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So if you remember that the Sabbath day was on Saturday and to keep it holy, right. why are we keeping it on Sunday? Because we forgot. That's right. We don't remember. Jeez. We're going to show you that too. We're going to show you that and then we're going to go back to that. So give me 1 Kings chapter 8. Let's start at verse 46. Sure. We lost remembrance of all our God's laws. That's why we destroy ourselves with the cigarettes. That's why we destroy ourselves with the weed smoke, with the cocaine. Since we love you, Jeez. we love you. If, you don't, if we didn't love you, we wouldn't correct our people out here. Right. You better than that. That's right. We don't want you to destroy them. Let's get this first. 1 Kings chapter 8, read. The book of 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 46. Yes, sir. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy. So the Lord said, if they sin against thee, that they is who? The nation of Israel. These 12 tribes you see here. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They, if we sin against our Lord, our God, read. So that they carry them away captives unto the land of their enemies far or near. Sis, look at these signs here. Come close. Check these signs out. Who would carry captive by their enemies? The Lord said he would deliver us into our enemies because we don't believe we have enemies. Did this happen right here? Let's, let's just deal with right here in this land. Did this not take place right here in Virginia? Yeah, it did. Actually. Right here, the gateway to slavery in America. That's right. That's right. Right here in Virginia. We've forgotten that, Sif. We've strayed away from it. Let's keep reading, sir. Verse, 
Verse 47. Soon. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives and repent. You hear what that says, sis? Yet in this land, if we bethink ourselves in this land where we carry captive, earlier what were we talking about? The Sabbath day. You said, yes, you know we, we're supposed to keep the Sabbath on Saturday, which is the seventh day of the week. Right. But they told us Sunday. So the Lord told us what? In this land. If yet we turn back to God's laws and bethink ourselves. Now remember, oh, we open this Bible up. We're supposed to be keeping the Sabbath day on Saturday. Right. Keep reading. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land where the day were carrying captives and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carry them captives. What's that supplication, sis? Admitting your faults, admitting your sins. Oh, Lord, I, I, Lord, forgive me. I was worshiping on Sunday. I forgot I was supposed to be worshiping on Saturday. Right. The last day of the week, not the first day of the week. Right. I bethought myself in the land where I was carried captive. That's, what we, that's the mindset we have to be in. Keep reading. Where we at, officer? Bible 47. All right. Saying. Saying, we have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. And so return unto thee with, with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive. So with all our mind. When it's talking about the heart, it's talking about the mind. With all thy mind, return to the Lord. Read. And pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. That city is Jerusalem. That's where we face the east when we pray. We, right. we pray. We're here in the land of, the, of, of America, so we, we turn to the east and pray. This is prophecy right here. The Lord is showing you that we was carried captive in this land. That's what he's telling you right now. So let's jump back. Let's give our sister, let's show our sister how to keep the Sabbath day holy. So she can bethink herself, remember who she is and where she came from. All praise the sister know now, she's from the tribe of Benjamin. So now we're going to go forward. How you doing, sir? On the bike, how you doing, brother? Good. Well, you got any questions, let us know. Come check our signs out. We're showing our people who they are according to the Bible. And now we're going to how to keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. All right? Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8 again. Let's read that again. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. He read. Six days shalt thou labor. Six days shalt thou labor, brothers and sisters. So from Sunday through Friday before sundown, the Lord gave us the time to labor, to work. Read. And do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. What day? The seventh day. Sister Butter, what's the seventh day of the week? Saturday. All praise to the Most High. All praise. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth